Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm waiting for Trader Joe's and all these to open so I can fill our refrigerator with something that we have nothing. I told Rob to get ready to eat salad for the next two weeks because my pants are feeling a little tighter than they should. Throughout today, I'm gonna to answer some of the questions that came in about the cruise. The number one thing we loved about Virgin Voyages was the size of the ship. It's smaller, there are only 2,700 passengers compared to a Carnival cruise, which is double that. There are 2.3 crew per every passenger, so you are well taken care of. Everything is included in the package. Once you buy the package, you don't have to pay another dime if you don't want to. Restaurants are included, gratuities are included, Wi-Fi is included, soda and coffee is included. Everything is except alcoholic drinks. Shows and even workout classes are included. There was another question about if we were worried about being on a ship and not being able to get off on land. Our last vacations have been to Europe where everything was planned for morning to night. It was so nice being able to sleep in if you wanted to, eat at a fancy restaurant if you wanted to, or just eat at the galley and just grab and go. It was nice to walk by and listen to different music. You, there's an arcade, there is shuffleboard. There are tons of places on the decks to sit and relax. If you wanted a warm cookie at 10 o'clock, you could go get one. If you wanted pizza at midnight, you could. It was, it was just so nice. One other thing I'm wondering about is whether their crew is heavily trained on customer service because every single crew person we ran into, no matter what they were doing, whether they were cleaning, working behind a counter, whatever, they were kind and they were friendly and they said good morning, good evening, whatever. They were there to help you. And what we really liked is when you went into a restaurant and if you were undecided about something, nine times out of 10, the waiter or waitress would say, I'm gonna put that order in for you because I think you need to try it. It was, the, I think they all wanna give you an experience of being pampered and taken care of and they did it because we were pampered and we were well taken care of. I'm back at home. <laughs> Snuggling with the messy haired pup. I I was gonna say I'm hungover, but that is not the case. I am tired. Tired, tired. We I normally am in bed by ten. And for some reason I was staying up until midnight, one, two, and then getting up at seven. So I am behind on sleep. But I also have a ton of stuff to do. Rob and I have wanted new flooring out in the sunroom for a very long time. I don't, this carpet's probably original to when they built the sunroom because it's greenish blue. Doesn't quite go with our decor, but it's going to be changed starting this weekend. We're working with a flooring company and we'll be able to share that with you the beginning of January. And I have to work ahead because our two kids that live in California are coming home next Friday. And then we've got two in Charlotte that will hopefully be here next weekend. And then our daughter from Indiana is coming the day after Christmas. So this house is gonna be full, full of kids. And I am, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see all of our kids at one holiday. That hasn't happened in years. So Deb's gotta get busy. I'm hoping to share an easy DIY tonight. It's a thrifted DIY. It's not really secondhand because this is from Goodwill and they have multiple. So it's, I don't know, I don't know where they came. Well, they're from Goodwill. They're not really secondhand because they have a tag. What am I trying to say? Okay, let me try. <laughs> let me try again. In our Goodwill, when you walk out or when you walk through, yes, bug, I'm trying. I'm trying to explain this. When you check out, there are things that you can buy that aren't secondhand, they have tags. So I don't know if there's an overabundance that companies give to Goodwills, but I picked up some things from Goodwill. 
and I'm going to DIY them. So it's not quite a second hand, technically, but it was from a second hand store. So hopefully that's coming later tonight. If you're looking for a last minute gift for the traveler in your life, I would highly recommend this bag. This is actually a duffel bag. I took this on the cruise and we used it several times. It folds into this nice, neat package. But what I love about it is it's very thin. So you can throw this in a suitcase. And if you open it here, it folds into a duffel bag. And then you zip this up and that makes a pocket. This comes in several different colors. It has a pocket and a trolley handle on the back. This is the front. This is the lined inside with several pockets. It also has the feature. If this is not big enough for you, you can undo this bottom and it gives you several more inches. We had, I didn't even have to expand that. And I had flip flops, sunscreen, towels, etc. And I still had plenty of room. If you want to make it into a duffel bag, it has these little tabs on the side. And you can actually use this as a carry on in a plane. This makes a perfect gift for anybody who loves to travel, doesn't want to take an extra suitcase, but wants to have something light enough in case they find goodies that they want to bring home. If you're looking for a great makeup bag, I would also recommend this. This is the one that I cleaned out. It looks, <laughs> it looks way better than it did before. It has a pocket on the front where I put my makeup brushes, etc. It's got a lot of pockets on the inside. This holds all of my toiletry. And for the hot mamas out there that need a travel fan, I recommend this one. This one has been everywhere. This even goes to my sisters when I visit my sisters. It charges, the charge stays all night long. It has three speeds and it stands how you want it. So if you want it blowing right at you, it will stay there. Highly recommend this. I'm making progress in the sunroom. I got like an eighth of the carpet pulled up. I wanted to show what, what was underneath. And just by getting that dark carpet out of here and then the new flooring down, it's gonna look so much better. So this is what the carpet looks like now, but I got this pulled up and this is what it will look like without. Now we're putting laminate on top and the laminate has a 24 hour, it's like waterproof, which is great when you're coming in from that area and yes i still have my pumpkins out there this it, it, it it's going to look so much better getting this icky stuff out of here i'm getting ready to make a salad and wanted to try my new nakano sienna chef knife i have not looked at it but i thought i would open it with you it's made with a high carbon stainless steel and it has a non-slip handle One moment please this is a nice looking knife i love the handle and it just looks very very sharp <laughs> so i have to be careful it all come it also comes with the sleeve so you're not cutting yourself when it's laying in the drawer okay i gave it a quick wash and now i'm going to cut cabbage you know how hard cabbage is so let's just see how well this cuts. That cuts like literally, it, it cuts through like butter. I'm gonna chop this cauliflower. I need to chop it in thin slices but because I'm putting it in a chopper. This, it literally glides right through it like butter. I don't know if you can see that. Let's try it again. This is hard cauliflower. This just glides right through. I'm laughing because my knife, basic my knives, I basically have to stomp on <laughs> it 
to get it to go through. This knife is amazing. I have a code for you that I'm going to put on the screen along with the link. You can save 20% on these. These would make great gifts. Rob's going to be so excited. He doesn't know we have.